announcing the, our sponsorship of Team Ireland for the Olympic Games uh, and in ESB Electric Ireland, we're delighted to have the opportunity to support Team Ireland. Uh, in ESB, we've always been very committed to supporting Irish sport, whether that's the GAA, rugby, uh, we're already sponsors of the ladies hockey team and we have been involved with athletics, but we felt it was a great opportunity for you know a big indigenous company like ESB Ar Electric Ireland to, to support the Irish team in the Olympics. Time difference, climate, uh, everything is in our favour. And if we can get as big a team as we can to the Olympics, I think it'll be great for Ireland, great for the country, and great for a company like ESB to be involved. It's very important because we use these funds to spread back to the athletes through their federations. It can mean a big difference to an athlete, say, getting proper coaching or travelling to an event, etc. Because, as I said, it's tough economic times, and uh, the more we can help them, the better. And especially in view of the London Games, because <clears throat> we're treating this like a home Olympics and uh, access to London and that is so easy. So we want to have the best prepared team ever to give the best performance ever at London. I probably could have run the world three days later but just on that day I couldn't. Mentally it's pretty hard, you know, you get a little bit down from it. And But I find when I get down what I do is I start to plan and I start to see, you know, what areas I could be better at and I start to look to the future. I don't really wallow very much so for me it's been really much you know all guns blazing now for London almost because it happened I've just been like right that's it you know I will sort this out and I will resolve this in London so you know maybe it's a blessing in disguise somehow that's the way I have to look at it. The last year let's say didn't go to plan um, I went out to America um, to better myself uh, it was a massive learning experience but it didn't have the end result I wanted I picked up an injury which ruled me out for the summer um, so I didn't get the opportunity to, to run in the world champs in Daegu there last month so you know no, it was it was heartbreaking to be honest but um, if anything it's given me the drive and the hunger to get back into it so I'm relocating back to my old coach in England and I'm going to spend time between Dublin and Loughborough um, on, my, on the, the road to 2012 and you know I'm just really looking forward to it and believe I can I can do something. I just finished competing about three days ago so I'm going to take about a month off and then get back into winter training spend a bit of time in Dublin and um, then head back to Germany where I'm based in maybe December January time do a small indoor season and uh, but really kind of look towards look towards the the Olympics without um, losing too much energy in the indoor season is my is my intention. The Olympic qualifiers is going to be the biggest competition of my life. Really, it's going to be the uh, most important year in my boxing career to date. So it is going to be a huge year, but. At the same time, I'm going to these world championships, um, just like I'm going to any world championships, and hopefully I can go in there and uh, maintain or retain my world title. And with the Olympic qualification, will come. I'm involved with the uh, high performance team anyway, so we're kind of have a, a great team around me anyway. But it'd be great to get involved with you know, kind of other athletes and other sports, and it's just so exciting. I love the Olympics. Um, every four years, you know, it's just the biggest competition on earth really and the most prestigious competition so everything about it is just so exciting and I can't wait for, for the year ahead.